So now this really isn't a repair video, but if you do, for example, have to work on receivers, amplifiers, sometimes, for example, you have to take off the bottom plate. And you might have one screw that no matter how hard you try, it just doesn't come off. And you end up stripping it, maybe you have to use a hacksaw. Or if you tried penetrating oil like WD-40 or something, it just doesn't work. So what I do, um, if it's a safe area where nothing can get burnt, I use like a little, a little crafts heat gun. And for example, with this screw here, I can get way down in there. And I don't have to worry about melting anything, for example. Of course, I could always cover this up with a piece of um, aluminum foil, for example. Of course, this doesn't work, say, if you're too close to wood or if you're really on plastic, because then, well, that's not going to end well. It has to be where there's a metal area and nothing can be burnt. Now, I try to take this screw out right now, and it just, even though i got a good screwdriver that fits really tight uh, tight down in the uh, <clears throat> grooves here it just will not come out so what I'm going to do is maybe heat this up for maybe 30 seconds um, get this all the way down there and I'm going to go ahead and see if this works normally it actually it does work and of course when you heat the screw it, it expands and then when it cools off again it contracts and that should be enough to basically break this fruit free a little bit so I can go ahead and get the screwdriver in there and turn it out again I've tried here and it's just too stubborn will not does not want to come out and if I keep going at it here I'm just gonna go ahead and end up um, stripping it out so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna give this about 30 seconds of uh, heat for starters and I'll go ahead and see if that's enough and I'll go ahead and try to pull the screw out of course you have to make sure like I've got the uh, receiver right now it's resting on a little piece of ceramic here of course you can't have I couldn't have this um, receiver on say straight on my desk because there's plastic underneath and the plastic will start melting but this should be able to take it you just have to make sure nothing can be burnt or melted when you're doing this so let me go ahead and give this about um, 30 seconds of heat I'm gonna get as close as I can the cameras in the way now so I can't really get down there and I'll see if that 30 seconds was enough so I gave it about 30 seconds with the that little heat heat uh, heat gun it's actually a little crafts um, little gun for doing crafts is actually my wife my wife she does crafts work and it's really handy and you can get into small spaces here I don't think she minds me using it so let me go ahead and try now and there it goes so that actually um, basically works again um, I use this little heat gun I haven't tried cold yet uh, I've got some cold spray if that would let me go ahead and try cold spray on the screw above there which is not going either so let me get my cold spray So now I'm going to try out the cold spray. I'm going to just hit the uh, hit it for a few seconds with the nozzle. I got to do this off camera. The camera's in the way. I got to hold this whole unit up and then spray the screw directly. So I just sprayed it with some cold spray, and I'm going to see if this works. Nope, the cold spray isn't going as good as the heat. Nope. Let me try even more cold spray. Okay, even more cold spray. See what that did. Nope, it doesn't want to go. So, what I'm going to do now is go back to my heat gun method. Again, I'm going to go ahead and heat this with 
for about 30 uh, seconds. Uh, also, again, as I re said before, I don't want to repeat myself, but you got to make sure there's nothing there can, that can melt or be burnt, for example. And as far as the length of time is concerned, I basically, I do that. It's a matter of on-the-spot judgment, depending upon the situation. Now, I just tried arbitrarily 30 seconds, and that worked out. So let me try the second screw with heat. So 30 seconds are over, and I'm going to go ahead and give this... Uh, a try here and hopefully it's, it'll break free oh. yep there it goes it just took a little bit more um, elbow grease but it can be done so um, this is actually a pretty good method as long as you don't burn anything up Kind of like an auto mechanic friend of mine used to do. He used to say if there was a frozen bolt or something like that, and he would heat it up first, and then I guess it would expand, and then it would contract upon cooling off, and that way you can get stuff out. So basically, I'd say this works most of the time, but basically, it's actually worked all the time for me, unless the um, screw has been already too stripped out. And the heat gun I use, it just looks like this. I, again, it's my wife's. She uses it for craft stuff. And one day I de basically discovered it. And now I use it too. Um, not too much to it. It's got a little stand. All I remember that it was cheap. And I think she got it ordered from some kind of a crafts catalog. And of course it's got a little this little tip, uh, tip cover here. So, which is good because also it... You can direct the heat to where you want to and it doesn't have to be a gigantic heat gun so uh, i think that's about the end of this video thanks for watching